views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio. Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Psychic Visionary and Vibrational Healers, Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, where you can call in and ask about your chakras, aura, and spiritual DNA. Tune in and discover the energy that is contradictive to your path of wholeness. Get ready to meet the most important person in your life, you. Hello, hello, everyone. We are so delighted to be here. You're listening to Spiritual Diagnostics, and this is Carol Dorian. Hi, and this is Suzanne Evans, and I am so happy to be here today. Well, today we are going to be talking about the chakras. And you know, this is a subject that so many people are familiar with. And there's been so many takes on how the chakras work, and there has been so many different uh, philosophies and understandings of the chakras. And it is the one topic that I find that so many explanations have actually been accurate. And the reason for that is because the chakras have a physical connection to our being, as well as a spiritual connection. So it's a mind, body, and spirit connection. And it is the one avenue where you can find the specific connection to a certain emotion and a specific physical ailment, a certain method of physical healing, how it affects the spiritual mind. So this is definitely one of my favorite subjects, and we're going to be talking about some chakras that have not really been addressed. I know there's a lot of people who are aware of 12 chakras and some even more. We're very familiar with the concept of seven chakras, but now we've been coming into an understanding and an awareness of five additional chakras and how they work and how they connect to the element of the aura, the element of the soul, element of the spirit. And even though the other chakras do too, these five particular chakras do so on a heightened level and on an an additional level. So I love that we're going to be exploring that today as well. And This is all about energy. Yes, it is. And you know what? I'm excited. We already have a caller, Carol, uh, Rita from Florida. Awesome. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi, Rita. How are you today? Hi. We're doing well. I'm pretty sure. Thank you for taking my call, by the way. Um, well, thank you for calling and thank you for listening. Not a ton and, not, and I don't have a lot of clarity on them like you do, but um, can't see them. Um, but have sort of an understanding of chakras. And I am having um, bladder infections, kidney infections, cysts in my uterus, cysts. Uh, you know, everything in there. And I know what it is. I've been meditating on it. Um, I just I just feel like I know. I, I was wondering if you could help me figure out a way to let go of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hello? You know, I'm picking. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Uh, uh, there. Oh, there I go. I'm it's, sorry. I, I don't know what happened. At first, I couldn't hear you. Okay, I can hear you. Oh, Hi. okay. Okay, great. I'm did picking up some vibrations. I, I did. I did. Can you hear us? Okay. okay. Yes. I'm picking and up some vibrations. Time, first, 
for for me, I think it's personal stuff. But I would, I if it helps somebody else, then I'll share it. I don't really care. I mean, I just want to help other people as well with this. You know, that is awesome. That is so wonderful of you. And we will respect your privacy, but just for you to say that and, and be coming from a place in your heart with that, that is fantastic. So I was going to say, I was feeling some vibrations and I think Suzanne may be feeling, are you feeling something as well? Yeah, I am. But you know, just, you could go ahead, start with what you're picking up and then I will let Rita know what I'm connecting to as well. Okay. You... I'm going to say what we can say on the air. And then after the show, I'd really like for you to call in and we'd like to do a free chakra evaluation, no charge to you, go through the 12 chakras with you and pick up on a deeper level. But the first thing I was picking up on is a very dramatic change in your living situation, where you're living, how you're living, uh, the vibrations that are surrounding you. And it feels like it could have been going on for longer, but the last three years has been very testing and trying of these matters. Can you connect to that? Yes. Oh, yeah. So yes. I'm feeling like the situations that have taken place in your life over the last three years, actually longer, but in the last three years, even more so, things have started to come to a head. And it's putting you in a position to question identity, emotion, and stability all at one time. Yeah. Can you uh-huh. can you feel that? <laughs> yes. So absolutely. It's yeah, like and, you feel Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go oh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm also, having an awakening. I am having a huge awakening right now. Oh yes. Yeah, I can, I, yeah, I can definitely feel that. And you were going to say, Suzanne? And, you know, as soon as when I heard her talking, one of the first energies, Rita, that I connected to is I definitely picked up very clearly is that some of these bladder issues that you're going through definitely have something to do with your navel chakra. That is the first vibration that I received when I heard you talking about going through bladder situations and our navel chakra on a physical level does connect to our bladder. It connects to that area of our body. And also what the navel chakra is allowing energy to flow out and how it affects us is also what security. So I definitely picked up on a situation happening in your life of feeling like you lost control over the way situations were going and also security and security could be in di- many different levels in our life, whether it may be security in our living environment, security in our work, security in our relationship, you know, it can mean so many things. So I definitely picked up that some of the health issues that you're going through definitely are happening from losing security and definitely have to do with something going on in that navel chakra. Yes. I, I, okay. I felt the navel too, the root as well, mm-hmm. the root and the navel. Those are the two areas. And the root is because you're not feeling grounded. So when that happens, that's affecting the root. And the interesting thing is with chakra energy is that what creates the effect affects what it's created it it goes Hmm. hand in hand so there's definitely some stuff going on in the root there's definitely some stuff going on in the navel I feel like you've made two healthy decisions I feel like you've made two healthy disconnections one of them you kind of felt wasn't a choice you felt like you were placed there and one you kind of knew that you needed to But I feel that even the one that you feel you didn't choose, I feel that you did. I feel that you knew for a long time it's a decision you needed to make. It's a situation you needed to let go of. And you were putting it out to the universe. And I'm feeling like the universe facilitated some of that disconnection, helped you facilitate that disconnection, basically. Does that make sense to you? Uh, kind of. It could 
sort of be a couple of different things, I guess. Uh, I'm not really clear on that. Yes, and again, I'm trying to to. tread a little lightly on Mm -hmm. the air, but I can tell you that if I had to go through the foundation of... Okay, yes, then yes, I have been letting that go. It's been like in my face. Uh, There you go. It was just in my face (laughs) for a little while. Yes. and 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 I just sort of shined a light on it and... And you know, played the dragon, as you would call it. <laughs> yes, totally, totally. Mm-hmm. So I can feel that it's something where you've made some disconnections, or in the process of still working through disconnections, and the whole yeah, and the whole stability mm-hmm. factor yeah. just feels very rocked, very shaken right now. And there are definitely some keys and patterns that you're meant to find and break to go into another direction and to reach a higher sense of wholeness and understanding. And it will facilitate and expand your healing. So after the show, I'd love for you to give us a call at 312-898-898. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Two. Three, one, two, eight, nine, eight. Two, two, eight, five. It's three, one, two. Eight, nine, eight. Three, one. Eight, nine, eight. Two, two, eight, five. And, two, and we're getting two, ready eight, to go on five. break. Okay. So give okay. us a so call getting- after the show, Rita. Okay. Uh, enjoy listening to your show. Thank well, you. Well, thank you for calling, and we look forward to talking to you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Light, love, and blessings to you, Rita. So we are getting ready to take a break, and when we come back, I would like to touch on the symptoms of blocks in the 12 chakras. And we'll touch more on energy reactions, how that energy flows and where it goes. And we will be back shortly. Thank you. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Get ready to rid yourself of all that is weighing you down and holding you back from living the life you want for yourself. Coming Clean, The Art of Transparency with Catherine Moss is a hit show for women in recovery who are ready to live life on purpose. Tune in and let Catherine help you live your truth one day at a time. Live each Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. 
Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Beyond being this amazing neurologist, inventor, author, Dr. Dan Cohen has been called to look at technology and look at personal and spiritual development and merge these together. His technology uses the healing and psycho-spiritual effects of synchronized sounds, vibrations, electromagnetic fields, and how that interacts with us in our nervous system in what we're calling the Soltech Chair. The Soltech Lounge induces profound levels of relaxation that transition over time into deep meditative states. The synchronized sound vibration and magnetic field induce these states. The subject doesn't have to work at it. To learn more, go to soltechwellbeing.com. That's S-O-L-T-E-C, well-being. Hello, and this is Suzanne Evans with Spiritual Diagnostic, and we are back. And we are talking about our chakras and how they affect us and how they work and how it just all comes together. And it's one of my favorite subjects. I just am I'm absolutely in love with the whole chakras and how they work. So what I'm going to be talking about is how our chakras react, because our chakras react to everything that we experience emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Whether those experiences may be happy, joy, accomplishments, or even achieving goals, our chakras respond to those emotions. Our chakras respond to what we are feeling, what we are seeing, and what we are experiencing. And that is one of the things that make our chakras so amazing. And our chakras are not only something that's spiritual, they are very spiritual, but they affect our life on a physical and emotional and mentally level. So that is what makes them so special and just so amazing of how our chakras respond to situations that we are experiencing in our life. Yeah, so it's like we're constantly experiencing a flow of energy. And The chakras are not only affected by major experiences, they're also affected by the simple everyday stuff that we experience. So when you talk about joy, accomplishments, achieving goals, sometimes we're going through an absence of that. So joy, yeah, and, and our chakras, our chakras need that energy to nourish. So if joy and achievements have been absent for a while, the chakras may be reacting to the experience that has caused the interruption. And also the interruption, this is where it gets a little confusing sometimes. Our chakras are reacting to the interruption, but also the interruption is causing the malfunction of the energy, but then there is something that caused in the chakra at times a weakness that absorbs that malfunction and allows it to create a pattern. But all of these patterns can be broken through identifying where the block is located and what has caused it and what the experience is that could be blocking. And when we talk about interruption, like I say, it can be from the biggest thing to the littlest thing. Yes, you know, it can. We were, yeah, yeah, that's go ahead. Exactly you were talking about saying. some amazing and things you know, with that. Yeah, and that's our spiritual right to know what is going on with us spiritually. But we got a caller here, Carol, uh, Victoria from Boston. Let's let that caller in. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how we can help Victoria today. Oh, great. 
Hello, Hello, Victoria. How are you? Can you okay. Are you there? Are you? Good. Can you hear me? I okay. can hear you. Well, okay. Um, I don't really have a question except that I try to, you know, cleanse and keep my aura and my chakras clean, but I find that I get a lot of blockages. Is, do you know why or... Can you help me out what I could do differently? You know, I'm picking up on some vibrations. Are you, Suzanne? Yes. You know, Victoria, when I hear you talk and I hear your situation, and I, you know, Victoria, I want to let you know that you're not the only person that I have spoke to throughout my experience that is going through this type of situation. Sometimes we are doing everything that we need to be doing in order to keep ourselves positive, to keep our chakras balanced, but we experience right. that things are just not going the way it needs to. And that's when it comes to play is that we need a little extra help. We need some guidance in this area. So I pick up very strongly from your voice vibrations, Victoria, that you do have the ability to heal yourself, but I pick up that there is a specific healing method. There is a specific type of chakra balancing that you need specially designed for yourself in order so these blockages don't keep occurring in your life don't keep occurring into your chakras and this situation will not affect you physically or spiritually because it's not that I pick up that you're not doing it right. I just pick up that there is a specific healing method that you need because, you know, right. two, one healing method is not going to work for everybody. So I definitely pick up that you do need some spiritual guidance into what is the healing method. And that is the first vibration that I picked up when I heard your voice. And, you know, I'd like to add to that. What I was picking up is that you are a person that is very aware of the changes that you've needed to make. You are pretty much a no-nonsense person. You see things for what they are. You don't try to sugarcoat it, and you're ready to See what's in front of you and not make any type of excuses for yourself or others. You're very clear and you're in the right state of mind. I, I feel that about you. But what I can feel here is that, I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I thought you were trying to say something and I thought I cut you off. I was going to say that what I can feel here very clearly is that when you say, uh, he cleansing or clearing my chakras and my aura, I don't feel that you are specifically tuning into the exact point, the exact seed that has been planted in the specific chakra that has been planted in, in order to release it. So what I'd like to do after the show, no charge to you, we'd love to do a chakra evaluation with you and go through a series with you through each chakra and pick up the vibrations that are going on. Because I feel that you've made very good decisions, even though they've been painful. I feel that you have learned spiritual and karmic lessons. You're where you need to be, but something is going on in one specific chakra that's not getting the attention that it needs. And when one specific chakra is blocked and it's not getting what it needs, it sends that vibrational frequency out to the aura and it creates resistance. That's resistance to change, mm -hmm. resistance to the things that you're inviting in. You could be opening your mind, your body, and your spirit to exactly the frequencies and vibrations that it needs to be open to, yet not receiving the benefits and bearing the, the fruits of the lessons that you've learned and the efforts that you've made in life. So that's usually a situation where there's one specific area that is containing a block and it's 
pushing out resistance into the aura. And so what we do Mm. in a situation like that, oh, yes, it does that. What we do is we find out specifically through each chakra what it's been exposed to, how it's flowing, Mm -hmm. and why it's flowing in the direction and in the frequency that it is. And through that, that's how you open the aura and remove resistance. And once that resistance Mm. is released, you are open Mm -hmm. to receive the love, light, blessings, opportunity, joy, bliss, and serenity that is your right Mm. to receive. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. I hope that answers. (laughs) Okay, great. I'll give you the number. I hope that answered. (laughs) some of your questions. So you can give us a call after the show at 312-898-2285. Okay, I will do that then because it's been a struggle. And you know, the interesting thing is I feel that you don't have to because You already get the lesson. It's not like you're repeating a lesson because you haven't learned it. It's not like you're going, you're stuck in a karmic path. Some people are. I do not receive that vibration Mm. from you at all. I don't feel like you're in any type of karmic path or unlearned lesson. So call us at 312-898-2285, and we'd love to go through a chakra evaluation going all the way from 1 to 12 with you. Wow. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome, Victoria. And thank you so much for calling in, Victoria. Oh, yes. You can call after the show. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So we're getting ready to go on break, uh, and we will be back and talking about the chakras and how it works and solutions and all kinds of fun stuff. (laughs) Yes, and I and I definitely want to reflect a little bit more on Victoria's situation when we get back. Oh, yes. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back soon. Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Badili. All you need to do is visit his website, atanamethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A method.com and sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's atanamethod.com. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine, and my show is Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. When we're bogged down with our emotions, the hardships that plague us in our relationships, at work, our finances, we literally can't see the higher plane where we could be operating from. Tune in to Leslie Fontaine, Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? 
Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit SpiritualD.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Well, it's great to be back. I really enjoyed our caller, Victoria. She touched on some very, very important things. And for those of you who are, she really did. And we're going to go back over that a little bit. And for those of you who might just be tuning in, you can log on to our site, spirituald.com. And that'll give you a better understanding of what spiritual diagnostics is about Those of you who want to give us a call after the show, feel free to do so at 312-898-2285. That's 312-898-2285. And those of you who are listening, feel free to call in, share your experiences, ask questions. We do look forward to hearing from you. We love hearing from you. So let's talk about Victoria a little bit, you know. That was the perfect call because what she was saying is exactly what this show is about. She, it's about, she's doing cleansing. She's balancing her chakras. She's clearing her aura. She's working on her energy field, but she's not receiving the benefit of the work that she's doing. We picked up clearly There's not a karmic blockage that's going on there. There's no unlearned lesson. She's where she needs to be. And sometimes what happens in a case like that, people will get so frustrated and say, but I've done the work. I've learned the lesson. I've cleared it. I've balanced it. Why am I not receiving my change? Why am I not getting my breakthrough? Why am I not where I need to be? despite my efforts, whether it's my love life, whether it's my living situation, communication with family members, my work, what is going on here? Well, sometimes, and in many cases, what happens is we've treated what needs to be treated. We've learned what we need to learn on a level. However, it comes back to one specific point of our energy field or one specific chakra that could still be carrying the residual or the stain of the experience. And sometimes it's just a matter of finding out the specific experience that we have already healed from, what chakra and what area of the spirit, the aura, and the chakra system that it was connected to. And finding that out and having that specific specific method of release is what makes the difference. That's what gets us from the point of the stagnant energy to the flowing energy. Yes, that that is the specific identification. Yes, that is the answer and that is the solution. Yes, exactly. I love that you say that. The answer and the solution. Now what I'd love to talk about is the symptoms 
for those of you who are listening, I want to touch on these symptoms and I want to talk about the five chakras in addition to the seven. So why it's so important, why I love talking about the symptoms is because so many of us go through these things in life and we're thinking, I've changed my eating. I've given up smoking. I'm talking to people on an online dating site, not connecting to anybody that I feel that I want to be with or connecting to somebody I want to be with and it's not going anywhere. I'm dieting and I can't lose weight. And, you know, I just want everybody to know that no matter how stagnant you are or or no matter how much you may feel that your efforts are not taking you to the place that you want to be, that's a temporary condition. When you locate exactly where that energy is in terms of your chakra and energy field, when you locate the specific area and origin, you're going to release it and you are going to move forward. So one thing that is so common on my list here is lack of clarity or confidence in your life steps. The second is feeling distant from your pets and loved ones, feeling like you don't receive the joy and the peace from communicating with loved ones, and you might even find yourself avoiding communication with people that you care about swelling and edema in the lower limbs. I had gone through that one and I am so grateful to the universe. I've released that. So if there's physical blockages as well, swelling and edema in the lower limbs, unexplained irritability, feeling like upset, anxious, and sometimes you don't even know why. It's just, it's there and you feel it. Yes. I have witnessed that many of times people feeling like, but you know what? Change did happen. Things are more positive. You know, I'm Mm -hmm. doing what I desire to do, but why is that? Why am I still feeling blocked? Why do I feel like I felt previously before I accomplished and achieved goals and moved forward in the direction? So now I'm here, but why is that emotion, that feeling lingering? Oh, yes. And that definitely connects to the 11th chakra, which is the soul star chakra. And that's understanding and hearing the spirit self. That's even being in the position. This chakra affects the position of accepting your healing. So there is unexplained irritability. And as you said, that can even be after people have reached the level that they were trying to reach. That is where the soul star chakra needs to open up and send the message into the other chakras. We've already passed through this. And you know, Carol, something else that I really want to express today is just look at that name, the soul chakra. Sometimes physically our mind and our body knows what we're feeling understands that we don't like it, but sometimes the answer, our spirit, our soul knows the answer and can guide us to that solution. So it comes a point where we need to connect such a high and stable level with that soul chakra in order to be able to allow our soul and spirit to connect because sometimes our spirit, our soul is trying so hard to communicate with us. And that's why we're feeling so stuck or irritable. And I have experienced that myself in my own spiritual journey. I have oh, yeah. experienced experience that with people that I have met and came across throughout my journey that I have helped spiritually guide them. So definitely that is all around us constantly. Yes, and and we access that energy through the soul star. The opening up the ability and communication between yourself and yourself, the star of your soul, that chakra, that energy that opens up and facilitates that inner communication. 
And one of the other, a few of the others that we have here are increase of appetite or lack of, you know, this is, this is a huge one. This is where people are battling with their weight. Some people underweight, some people want to lose some weight and they're like, I'm going from diet to diet and I just cannot get control of my appetite. I'm always hungry or I'm trying to put on a few pounds and I have no appetite or no matter what I'm eating, I'm not able to gain any weight. So the increase of appetite or lack of is a very strong symptom that has definitely affected a lot of solar plexus chakra issues and a lot of the throat chakra causing thyroid problems, and it can even create difficulty in communication. And then there is the extreme craving of comfort foods. If you're going through some root issues, blocked root chakra issues, you will find yourself wanting a lot of bread, pasta, rice, a lot of, and there's nothing wrong with those foods. They're actually pretty wonderful and they are pretty grounding, (laughs) but there can be an extreme craving of this. So if we learn to listen to what's going on inside, and again, that goes back to that, to the soul star chakra, being able to hear from spirit, we can even understand why we're craving the foods that we're craving. So the feeling disconnected and distant from the physical world is definitely one that yes, needs and to I be can't, touched on. Yeah, and I cannot wait to get back on this topic. We're getting ready to go into break, but I'm loving the energy. Uh, yeah. I love, you know, I'm feeling so connected to our listeners, people that called in. I'm feeling the way right now, the way the universe is coming together and letting us know, hey, there's a solution. There's an answer. But you need to listen to your spirit. You need to let your spirit tell you what's going on. I just, I'm loving, I'm loving the feel of this. Oh, yes, because we have the answers. They're inside. We just have to learn how to listen. Yep. So we will be back after. Oh, absolutely. And we'll be back after this short break. We look forward to coming back and talking more about chakra energy here on Spiritual Diagnostics. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence, and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? 
Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Get ready to rid yourself of all that is weighing you down and holding you back from living the life you want for yourself. Coming Clean, The Art of Transparency with Catherine Moss is a hit show for women in recovery who are ready to live life on purpose. Tune in and let Catherine help you live your truth one day at a time. Live each Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. And we are back here on Spiritual Diagnostics, talking about chakra energy, and we're touching on five chakras that are not talked about very much. There has not been a whole lot of emphasis on them, but we are now at the vibrational frequency in the universe, and we are at a time in the universe that it is time for us to connect to these chakras in a big way. And so I was talking about, before we went to break, a feeling of disconnected from the physical world. And that is that goes very much with the 12th chakra. And yes, I'm not doing this in order, but there's a, a reason that it needs to go this way, because these chakras do not always flow in a specific order or position as well. So when we're not feeling connected and we're feeling distant from the physical world, that's usually where we need to touch the divine gateway chakra. This is where we connect to purpose and faith, where we're disconnecting from the physical and we can hear from the spiritual. Another symptom, hoarding difficulty, difficulty in throwing anything away, feeling like things that are all around you, you have to hold on to them. There's going to be a need for them at some point. This goes into real self chakra. And this is the 10th chakra. This chakra connects to masculine and feminine energy. It also connects to twin flame energy. So if love is missing or a relationship has been broken, severed or interrupted in a painful way, it can connect very strong to creating the need to hoarder, to hold on to things. It is a substitute for being able to hold on to a loved one, whether that was a parent, a lover, a friend. So that is where we become connected to that 10th chakra that has sometimes been referred to as the real self chakra. That's where the healing method is for people who are collecting things that they really know that they need to be releasing. And then inability to trust your own decisions, changing your mind frequently, not being able to stick to a decision. That is usually connecting in the ninth chakra And this chakra integrates past life experiences. So when we're going through confusion and we're not able to make a decision, sometimes messages from prior lifetimes and other experiences can be causing interruptions or chaos in the decisions that we need to make. And that's where we tap into that ninth chakra. 
So the eighth chakra, the lesson would be, I would have to say, releasing patterns, fears, and traumas. The ninth is about integrating past life experiences. Ten is about divine connection, sexual connection, masculine and feminine energy. The 11th chakra is understanding and hearing from the spirit. The 12th, I would say the lesson is divine faith without physical sight. I hope I didn't skip one. Did I, Suzanne? No, not at all. I'm listening and everything is just, it's all making so much sense. You know, it's, there's so much understanding and clarity, all of this. Yes. And, you know, I was like, I had to pause for a moment. I was like, I hope I didn't miss one. So those are the five chakras that are in the addition that we are at the time and place and space in the universe to recognize and to connect to. And for those of you who are listening, you can call after the show at 312-898-2285. You can log on to spirituald.com to receive more information and insight about what spiritual diagnostics is really about. Some of you who are listening to this have said exactly what Victoria has said. I've done chakra work. I've balanced it. I've cleared. I've cleansed. And I'm not receiving the answers and the energy that I desire to, and I'm not reaching the levels. So much of chakra healing has been based on one through seven. And with the advanced chakra healing, we use the five, the additional five chakras to tap into the lessons that have already been learned to send that message to the aura so that you know you've already done that, you've already got it. And sometimes you know that, but your aura needs to get that message. And we tap into the additional five chakras to understand the accomplishments and lessons that have already been received and to be able to hear from spirit self, to have that understanding of why we're craving, feeling, hoarding, achieving, living, loving, or having an absence of a desired situation in our life. The five additional chakras are holding a lovely, beautiful amount of information that can set free the experiences that are already being held inside that your spirit is already waiting to let in. It opens up that gateway. These chakras set free anything that is hindering that and open up to the new experiences of love, joy, happiness, and bliss, because they connect you to hear from yourself. Yes, and everything, Carol, that we talked about today, I just, I love it. It was awesome. You know, there was so much meaning to it. I, understanding, it's like, you know, sometimes you know something, But when you talk about it and you just hear people listening, it's like it feels so right. It's just like confirmation to your spirit, you know? And that's, you know, that's what so many of us need, confirmation to our spirit. And in accessing the five chakra levels, when we, especially when we work through the soul star and the divine gateway, we're opening up that understanding and that confirmation When you access the energy of these two chakras, particularly, it's giving the person the confirmations, the understanding, and the ability to hear what they've already learned, where they're they're at, what they've already accomplished, because sometimes it gets filtered out and we're not holding on to and accessing the lessons and accomplishments that we are already holding and that we're able to reproduce in life. So when we open up the soul star, we, we tap into the divine gateway. That's where we access that. 
Yes, that is where we access that. And, you know, I really wish we had more time because I feel like I could spend the whole afternoon talking about this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just love it so much. But, you know, to all our listeners, please, you know, feel free to call after the show, log on to our website, and tune in next week. Yes, and we're going to be touching base more in depth and in detail about the five chakras. So for those of you who would like to give us a call after the show, feel free to do so, 312-898-2285, or log on to spirituald.com. We've enjoyed talking with all of you, and we look forward to hearing from you. Till we all speak again, light, love, and blessings. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostic Radio, Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, diagnosing the spiritual cause of unwanted life patterns. For more information on your favorite healers, visit spirituald.com and tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio to receive your weekly dose of enlightenment.